Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rugby World Cup final in 2023. It is a repeat of the 1995 World Cup held way back in South Africa. So today, these two teams finally get the opportunity to take each other on again in a World Cup final. And, well, but first we've got to have to wait and have a look at the Haka. The Haka always sending shivers down our spines, so let's get into this. This is the final game. Nobody will remember the runner-ups, only the champions. Bowden Barrett to get this game underway. Here we go. Colisi's got it. Turnover from the All Blacks almost immediately. And in the process, Aaron Smith has gone down injured, so... A big blow to the All Blacks very early in this game as Perinaro warms up to replace Aaron Smith. Crouch. Find. Scrum time to the All Blacks. That two and a half minutes gone in this game already. Here we go. Geordie Barrett beats Fab de Klerk. Back inside it goes to Frizzell. Now Perinara, a bit under pressure, but he gets it back for the All Blacks. Now pick and go from Sam Tuipilotto. Sorry, not Sam, Patrick Tuipilotto. So the line out to the spring box. Very important that Bonambi finds his jumpers today. Finds Peter Steff the way. Now Andre Pollard. Out it goes to Dialeni. Look on your arm out to Cheslin Colby. There's space here for him. And Cheslin Colby could go all the way. Look at him go. This is going to be the opening try of the Rugby World Cup final. And it's going to come courtesy of Cheslin Colby. What a run from the winger. So easily done from the spring box. And the All Blacks didn't have an answer to his sheer pace. Runs around Caleb Clark with his... And then nobody in front of Cheston Colby as he goes over for the first try of this game. Great stuff from the spring box. We've had 10 minutes in this game. <coughs> so the conversion from Andre Pollard is good and it's 7 points to nil. World Cup Final. Bowden Barrett with the kickoff. Finds Khaleesi again in a high tackle this time from Caleb Clark. And he is going to get his marching orders. Yellow card to Caleb Clark. Poor discipline from the All Blacks. Kick downfield from Andre Pollard's fine touch on the 22 meter line. Chance for the spring box now. Not a good throw in stolen by the All Blacks. And here comes Damien McKenzie. Out it goes Jordy Barrett back inside to Burden. And a high tackle from Dwayne Vermeulen. But the referee's not going to give a yellow card for that one. So 17 minutes gone. South Africa lead by 7 points to nil. Good kick from Burden Barrett. Fine touch basically inside South Africa's half. Dane Coles with the throw in. Good throw in from him. Fine Sam Kane now Perinara. Jordy Barrett out to Leonard Brown Bowden Barrett again 
up to the 10 meter line they go Bernardo good defense from South Africa pick and go from Dan Coles Joe Moody bit isolated but comes back to the all black side now Artie Sevilla to Pilotto good defense again from the Springboks Moody Sevilla just outside the 22 now it's the All Blacks Bernardo to Pilotto again Still coming is the All Black slow position coming back now for Sal runs over Kulisi just outside the 22 they go Dane Coles out to Geordie Barrett back inside to Sam Whitelock great tackle on him now to Pilotto Barrett again the All Blacks not gaining any ground in fact they're going backwards at the moment now Leonard Brown, Dane Coles, oh and another high tackle from um and again the referee not calling a yellow card so not very consistent with the yellow cards as Caleb Clark comes back onto the field and a chance now for the All Blacks to get their first points of the game through Bird and Barrett Uh, penalty goes over so seven points to three it is with nine minutes to go in this first half restart from Pollard Colby chasing beautifully and he's got it now to Lindy. out it goes to Colissi find a bit of space there stolen by the All Blacks though now Geordie Barrett good defense from Pollard He's turned it over on the ground. Now the Clark. Trevin Yacone. It's a bit. Out it goes to Colby. Out to Warwick Kalant. Steps inside. Still going is Warwick Kalant. South Africa's got this ball now. Fuff the Clark. It's a bit. Out it goes to Pollard. So close. Stolen by the All Blacks on the ground. And here they come. White block. Bird and Barrett. Back to Frizzell, to Angafasi now, it's a bit makes the tackle on him. Somehow the All Blacks have managed to escape this attack from the Springboks. But stolen again on the ground by Kutsov this time. Gives it back to Peter Steff, the toy now, it's a bit. Kulisi. Turnover from Frizzell on the ground, here they come. Kick downfield from Peronara is going to go into touch. So at half time it is the Springboks leading by seven points to three. Forty minutes away from glory is the Springboks now. The restart from Andre Pollard for the second half is underway. Look, Kanya has got it for the Springboks now. Fuck the clap. Up to the 22 meter line they go. Release. Now Peter Steff to the the Jager, Pollard, but he knocks it on, advantage to the All Blacks. They can be so dangerous on counter-attack ball. Slow ball coming back for them now, Kane, Frizzell, hammered back in the tackle. Release. All Blacks not going anywhere at the moment. Dane Coles, now White Lock back inside to Tuanga Fassi. And the referee will call them back for that knock on. Crouch. Find. Set. Set. Big scrum coming up for the All Blacks now. They've got it. What can they do from here? Perinara, Bowden Barrett. Steps one back inside. It goes to Ardi Sevilla. They form the mall. Driving it up to the 10 meter line inside their own half is the All Blacks now. White Lock is first receiver now. Perinara back inside to Bird and Barrett. Hammered back again in a tackle. On the 10 meter line, the All Blacks now. Perinara. Release. Good defense on the All Blacks now. Sam Kane's got it. Andre Pollard misses the first tackle, Release. but the Cats got him. Bernardo Dane Coles beats one, beats another one. Still going is Dane Coles, but stolen on the ground by Kulisi. Pollard's got it. 
Will South Africa get this ball back? No, the All Blacks got this on halfway. Another high tackle from the Clark and surely this time nah, the referee's not going to give a yellow card. So what will Barrett do with this one? Decides to go for goal. And that looks like a good strike. So over it goes. One point in this. With 23 minutes to go. Andre Pollard with the restart. Again, I'm got this for South Africa. Can they get this ball back? No, the All Blacks have stolen it on the ground. South Africa not very fast at the breakdown today. Now it... Loose pass finds Kulisi. Chance now for South Africa. Faf de Klerk out to Colby. Hammett in that tackle. Looks like Pollard has dropped back in the pocket. And he's going to go for it. He's going for the drop goal. Oh, hits the upright. And trouble here for the All Blacks. South Africa could pound on this now. Gets off and a high tackle from the All Blacks. And Leonard Brown is going to get a yellow card for this. The referee clearly very biased today towards the spring box. And one has to feel that this is very unfair to the All Blacks. Penalty goes over, so 10 points to 6 now. With 15 minutes to go, still anybody's game. The Tway, Dialendi, now cuts off, gives to Mapimpi. It's a bit back inside to Dialendi, and it looks like Dialendi's gone down. And uh, Francis, well, Francis Stein's not on the bench, it's Esther Raisin is there. So Andre Esterhazen comes on. Crouch. Find. And with 12 minutes Set. to go in this game, South Africa leading by four points. Now for Mielin, picks it up out to Cheslin Colby, runs around Caleb Clark again. And this could be the winner. South Africa's going to win this surely from here. Cheslin Colby's gone over for his second try. And this will give South Africa the buffer that they want. Just sheer pace from Cheslin Colby there. Pick, and, pick up and go from Vermeulen. And then Colby just around Caleb Clark again. And so easy. Goes over in the corner. Now Pollard with that conversion attempt. No, that's going to go over, so 17 points to 6. It is with 8 minutes to go. South Africa's got this in the back. No, it's been turned over by the All Blacks. Now, Tui Pilotto. But it looks like South Africa's counter ruck this. Yeah, they do have this. And here they come, Felici knocks it on. Chance here for the All Blacks. Five minutes to go. Perenora. Release. Sam Kane. Out it goes to Bowden Barrett. Back inside to Kudu. Release. Can the All Blacks do something with this now? Moody. Back inside to Tui Pilotto. And the referee's going to call him back for that knock on. And. On comes Anton Leonard Brown Crouch. from the bin. Bind. Two minutes to go. Set. Set. Can the All Blacks finish this on a high? Capote and Barrett, Leonard Brown. Now it goes to Jordy Barrett. Hammett in the tackle by Andre Esterhazen. But the All Blacks still got this. South Africa stolen it on the Release. ground and that surely's got to be it. Andre Pollard, Lukanya, um, 
finds Colby, Pollard, it's a bit, it's to Raisin and look at him go. South Africa wants another one. They're not done yet and it's Jesslyn Colby who's going to run in for a hat-trick. Surely nobody's going to stop him and that just puts the, the cherry on the cake for South Africa. Hat-trick here at Jesslyn Colby but after all this one will have to question the referee's decisions not to penalize South Africa with yellow cards today but we're not complaining the Springboks are going to be the world champions of the World Cup in 2023 Henri Pollard is just going to convert this and then it will be it and over she goes 24 points to 6 South Africa has beaten the All Blacks to win the William Webb Ellis Trophy for the fourth time for the second time in a row South Africa has done it the All Blacks have to bow down to the Springboks final score 24 points to 6 hope you guys enjoyed this until next time, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.